Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a tag video. Yay! And this tag is my makeup style tag. And there's a series of questions, or like 10 questions. And I was not tagged, but I did see another YouTuber do this video. Her name is Kat from Rented Fashion. I will put an iCard up to um, indicate her video if you want to go and look at her video. So let's get started with the questions. Question number one, what kind of eye primer do you use and why? Liquid eye primer or a shadow stick? I use a liquid um, primer, eye primer. Right now I'm using the Lorac um, behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. Before that, and for years and years and years, I have used the Urban Decay shadow eyeshadow potion eye primer. I have sworn by this. Um, I personally, think that I need to have an eyeshadow primer for every eye look. Um, I always use one of these because I need it to help kind of smooth out my eyes. Plus, I have allergies and so my eyelids is what I like to call tea stained from my allergies and so they have a brown tint to them. So I definitely have to use something to kind of help cancel out that color. So definitely a eye primer. What color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? I would say um, an olive green or a army green. Um, olive green, army green with a hint of gold, like a gold shimmer eyeshadow with that, I just think is very pretty. It's very bold but feminine and can definitely be worn, um, a look that can be worn dressed up definitely so that would be my answer for that question what eyeshadow color do you like least to wear and why that would be black I don't like wearing black eyeshadow um, all the black eyeshadows that I have in eyeshadow palettes have just completely gone to waste because I never ever use them I might every once in a great while use it as a um, to soften um, an eyeliner look, but for the most part, I don't use a black eyeshadow ever. Um, do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner, black or brown liner? Um, I use a pencil, and right now, in the past probably six months, eight months, maybe even a year, I've been using black. Previously to that, I always used brown. I hardly ever used black. And the one that I used um, a lot before was this one from Bobbi Brown, and it's the um, Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Chocolate Shimmer. So I have that one. Now I have used um, a liquid eyeliner. I just, I'm not very good at it, and it has a tendency to migrate on me. So I just have better luck with, with the pencils or with this little gel pots. So. Cover Girl or Maybelline Mascara? Come on, you know you're one way or the other. And actually, no, I'm not. I never have liked the Maybelline Mascara, the one that's in the pink and green um, tube. I know, shocker. It's supposed to be one sold, what, every three seconds? But um, I never have liked that mascara. I personally like the L'Oreal, the Luminous. Um, voluminous, yeah, the Voluminous Mascara. If I'm going to do a drugstore mascara, that's the one that I like. I don't really care for Maybelline or CoverGirl. Um, prior to finding the, the L'Oreal Luminous, um, I always would use an Almay, Almay mascara. So, anyway. Um, if you could have your brows permanently done or not wear any blush for the rest of your life, which would you choose? And that is a hard one for me because I love to wear blush. I like to collect blush. Um, but I have such horrible eyebrows. Um, they're very sparse. They're very, the color of my eyebrows is so, so off in comparison to my hair color. They are almost a, um, I don't know, almost like a really brownish gray color almost. And my mom's is the same way. And we don't have very thick eyebrows. And 
a lot of times if you were just to look at us, you would think that maybe we didn't have any eyebrows. So I would have to go with having my eyebrows permanently done. And my daughter is trying to talk me into going with her and getting our eyebrows microbladed. So she's trying really hard. Um, before, the only place to go and do it was like in Tulsa or even in Oklahoma City. But supposedly there's supposed to be one here in my hometown where we both live that's supposed to be really good at it. So I don't know. Okay. Does your best best friend or you wear more makeup? Well, my best friend is my daughter, and I would definitely wear more makeup than she does. So, there you go. Who taught you how to do makeup? Well, I would say probably my sister. And not necessarily teaching me, but just watching her, you know, put her makeup on while I was growing up. She's nine years older than I was. And my mom didn't wear a whole lot of makeup. As she did wear makeup, it was mainly just um, foundation, a lipstick, and blush. She never, ever, ever wore eyeshadows or mascaras or anything like that. Um, so I would have to say just by watching my sister and then, you know, looking at magazines, because, you know, when I first started wearing makeup, that was before YouTube and tutorials, you know, online and things like that. So, you know, we would look at uh, magazines and then just, just watching my sister put makeup on, yeah. Are you a fan of cream products, like in blush, bronzer, contour, etc.? Why or why not? No, I am not a fan of cream products. Um, cream eyeshadows, yes. I like wearing those, but as far as the blushes and the bronzers, I just can't get them to go on right. They're either streaky or they're, there's too much on this side, not enough on this side. I can't get it to blend. And then when I go to put my powder on to set my face, they just kind of go away. So no, not, not a fan of cream products for sure. Um, are you a project panner? And what pro project pans are you on right now? Well, I have done previously two project pans but I decided this year not to do a project pan so I'm kind of a project panner now I am making a conscious effort to work through um, some of my hair care products that I have for this year I know the last couple of years it's been on skincare and um, cosmetics so this year I really wanted to work on eliminating and going through some of my backup of hair care so kind of a project panner just not doing videos about it and setting spray do you believe in it which is your holy grail this is the last question well yes i do believe in setting sprays um, if you would ask me this question six months ago i would have told you it was the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray but they have reformulated the formula it's not the same so at this point, I really don't have a favorite one. And um, what I have in this one is a couple bottles of the Catrice um, setting spray that I got at Ulta. It's okay, but when you, they're just sold in little bottles. So it's not very cost effective, I guess, unless I just wait and get it on sale and then use a coupon. So, and then the other, um, spray that I have is not really necessarily a setting spray as it's just a finishing spray that I like to use to um, kind of help calm down the powder of my um, the powder look of my face before I do a setting spray and it's the Manu Factory Rosehip Oil Mist. You've heard me talk about this a million trillion times. Love this. It smells so good and it's hydrating. Um, it just feels really good. So that is the end of the questions. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you do videos, um, feel free to do this tag. If you don't do videos, then go ahead and put your answers down into the um, description box and um, that way, or the comment box, and that way we can all see what your um, makeup style is. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.